know, they say that freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose. But an outlaw would rather be a free man in his grave than live life as a puppet or a slave, as the man says. He knows all too well that the things you own end up owning you, and he refuses to get bogged down by his simian hoarding habits that corrupt your soul through temptation. Besides, criminals end up doing time because of their material needs. And when you're brought into the system, it's real hard to live outside the law. There's a lot more to being an outlaw than living out of reach of the long arm of the law, though. And an outlaw defies social convention just the same. In fact, he's just as wary of social convention as he is of a hooker with a clap. Speaking of bedrooms and bars, outlaws have to follow the rules of the modern day drifter just the same. They take what they need from the women and leave them. And when it comes to bars, they have their poison of choice. Usually one highball, one lowball. I prefer whiskey, most American outlaws do. However, the most important characteristic of an outlaw is that an outlaw always carries a deadly weapon. Whether it's good old fashioned bare knuckles or a motorcycle drive chain that he wears as a belt, he's always willing to take the fight down to the death. But the most important weapon that an outlaw carries and the one that the man fears the most is his mind. It's one that can't be broken, can't be deceived, and can't be lied to. And it haunts the man like a specter of all his shortcomings. So while criminals go on fighting turf wars, an outlaw would much rather go on tasting good and evils in your bedrooms and your bars and trading in tomorrow for today. After all, he's running from his devils, reaching for the stars, and of course, losing all that he loves along the way.